Hi, this is Frederick from the techno label Detroit Berlin. Today it's going to be a rather short episode. Today we have the A162, the dual trigger delay from Duffer. Let's go over the controls, which are few and it's pretty simple. That's why I love this thing. It's cheap, it's super simple and yeah, it has two of those trigger delays in it. I've got two of those dual trigger delay modules and for now that's sufficient. So let's see. Dual trigger delay, the A162 from Duffer. It has two parts that are identical. You've got the input, you've got the output. So signal goes in, signal goes out and there's not more to it. Then you got the delay and the length knob. So the delay actually delays the signal in time. When normally the trigger would go, when you turn the delay up, the trigger will wait and it will trigger somewhere later in time, which you can actually fine tune with the delay knob. And the length is the length of the trigger. So when you have like a small gate triggering this module, when you put it all the way down, it becomes a really fast trigger. When you have a trigger going in, even when the trigger is pretty fast. You can even make it faster by turning this knob all the way down. The fastest trigger you can possibly have. So in my case this is very handy. Maybe in your case also. And when you have the trigger going in and you turn the length knob clockwise then it becomes a longer trigger, an even more longer trigger until yeah, you can call it a gate and yeah, the further you turn an up clockwise, the longer the gate uh, becomes. One thing is interesting to take note of with a quick sequence, uh, yeah, then you have not that much wiggle room. In short, this module is extremely useful, for instance, making really short triggers to prevent uh, double triggering of modules with analog trigger inputs. Um, you can make gates out of triggers, you can uh, make swing patterns by delaying the trigger on one part of the sequence and sending the other part directly, combining it and having the swing so with analog trigger sequencer from Duffer, when you don't have the sequencer controller, uh, you got only the three triggers and one gate. You have two rows of CVs. So if you want more gate signals, if you combine it with the trigger delay, the dual trigger delay from Duffer, you can actually turn two of those trigger sequences. You can actually turn it into a gate. So this dual trigger delay, it's a really simple module, but if you have a big modular system and you work with trigger sequencers, then I think it's a must-have to have it in your system. It's two-in-one and 
Yeah, if you have two, that multiplies. So if you have a few, you got plenty of options to create swing and yeah, gates from triggers, triggers from gates. And I must say this module is for me kind of a lifesaver because I have the Nord drum. The Nord drum takes analog triggers, like from the analog trigger sequencer from Duffer. And when it takes those triggers or any other sequencer, Eurorack format, when it takes those triggers, it sometimes double triggers. And uh, what I found out is that a dual trigger delay not only delays triggers, you can also make gates from triggers, but when you turn it all the way down, the length of the trigger, then the trigger is this short that the Nord drum doesn't double trigger anymore. So that's amazing and I'm really glad this module exists, but not only for that purpose, also for when you want to create some swing, it is possible with a really simple sequencer like the analog trigger sequencer from Duffer to have some swing with the dual trigger delay. You have two trigger sequencers and one you send directly and the other one you send via the trigger delay. And when you delay that trigger, you actually create some swing. So I got this rhythm going. It's a hi-hat rhythm. It's very straight right now. Got eight steps. First is going directly. Second is going via the trigger delay. Third is going directly, fourth is going via trigger delay, fifth directly, and so on. Eight steps, it's yeah, sixteenth notes they play. So now it's very straight, and when I induce the delay, and you got a swing. Maybe let's add the kick back. And when you delay too much, then yeah, it overlaps with the, yeah, the other trigger. So then you got only one trigger or very short triggers close together. Let's turn that kick down. So this is a cleaner signal because it's routed via the wave multiplier. I did a video on that one. So yeah, you can always find it on my channel. Really nice module. Get some distortion-esque uh, sounds out of it. So when you got this problem that a drum machine like the Nord drum or another drum machine with analog inputs, uh, trigger inputs when this double triggers and I actually found out why it double triggers and it's not consistent it sometimes does it sometimes don't but like all the time <laughs> so it's not consistent but most of the time when you got the added voltage of the trigger then it triggers once and when this control voltage drops then it triggers again. So when this is really short, it only triggers once. With a trigger delay, when you put the length all the way down, it doesn't double trigger anymore. I'll try to show you. Now I have the snare sound because it's more noticeable with the snare sound. So it double triggers, double triggers again and then it's okay. It double triggers again and it 
keeps double triggering now it's okay so that's really annoying so when I just take this same signal I put it in the trigger delay in uh, I turn it all the way down no double triggers anymore when we make it longer the trigger when it becomes almost a gate now it's longer than the normal trigger was and it's still at a pretty low low level I will say because you can really make it really long but then it doesn't trigger anymore because it overlaps the previous trigger and then it just triggers once and then not anymore because the gate is all the way continuous still double triggering only when it's all the way turned down the north drum doesn't double trigger anymore so this module for me it's really a lifesaver because double triggers are really the worst because they're not musical sometimes it might be musical but normally <laughs> it's not that musical so um, yeah I would like to thank you for watching if you haven't subscribed yet please do so also have a patreon page please join my patreon page if you want to support me with this Duffer module journey uh, and yeah support will be really welcome so I can continue making these videos so yeah that concludes this episode and I would like to thank you for watching and hopefully see you next time bye bye